What's up, bros and sisters? Uh, today we have uh, a little bit of uh, an unusual review. We are reviewing uh, a six-inch NHL uh, figures by Imperts Dragon, and uh, the first figure uh, which I uh, got is uh, this uh, uh, Connor McDavid uh, limited edition. I'm actually not sure what this uh, limited edition means. Uh, in the past years. Uh, uh, this limited edition uh, figure, they are uh, one number to 3000. Uh, I will see what it means this year. Okay, yeah, like opening uh, this package was uh, really, really dangerous, very sharp plastic. So if you get it for uh, your children, uh, uh, even for yourself, like uh, be uh, very, very careful, like almost. Uh, cut myself. So uh, there are three components inside. Uh, this is the figure of uh, uh, Connor McDavid. Then uh, uh, there is a foundation. So in the past, like for this uh, limited edition figures, uh, there were like numbers, uh, numbers here, and uh, uh, but uh, no. Uh, no numbers uh, this year. I'm not sure like when did they abandon uh, when did they abandon the numbering the last year I was I have experiences with this figure uh, figures was 17 18 so imports dragon was uh, doing them uh, since uh, uh, since uh, uh, 16 17 season so uh, the first season they did it was uh, for the World Cup of hockey so so uh, there are these like uh, penises which you need to take the condoms off so they you can stick them into this uh, vaginas in uh, their foundation. Pretty. It's pretty tight, I should say. Not easy to to put it. Okay, yeah, here. Uh, it goes uh, like this, and uh, if you look uh, on a figure, uh, this was also uh, the problem which uh, I had last time with these figures, is that uh, the faces are completely unrecognizable, because uh, uh, the, those six-inch figures, they... Uh, they advertise them that they have like a uh, customized faces, but uh, yeah, if I would just show you like uh, uh, this uh, face, like uh, I'm not sure like uh, you would be able to get that it's Connor McDavid. There is some like uh, uh, some hair, uh, hair, um, facial hair, like uh, uh, which, like uh, honestly speaking, looks more like. Uh, a pubic hair then there is something some hair like uh, under his eye I'm, I'm not sure like what is the what is this like uh, actually supposed to be like yeah I think it's just like probably the it's not painted like uh, in uh, a very high quality and, and in general you could uh, see that uh, the quality of the paint is uh, not like the highest possible like for instance here uh, you can see there is uh, this uh, orange paint uh, so a little bit weird in general I of course uh, like uh, this a uh, uh, third uniform uh, which Oilers introduced this season uh, I always like found uh, this uh, a white color in in uh, Oilers uniform suspicious so a little bit suspicious so I'm glad they introduced a uniform without it but the quality of this figure is uh, uh, like one thing which I don't understand like so every year there are three players which they're always making that's like Crosby, McDavid and Matthews at least uh, for these like three players which you make every year like uh, why is it like impossible like to make like a realistic face you just make it once and then you uh, the, and then you, you like just uh, use that face every year so yeah it's not clear uh, clear for me. So another problem is uh, that you can see that uh, hands are kind of glued 
to the body and uh, this is uh, not uh, because of these hands are like moving or anything because uh, like for example in intra bay figure uh, figures uh, it's just uh, uh, because it's uh, cheaper to uh, make them separately and uh, uh, glue them together no they're not like uh, they're not moving uh, uh, if uh, it's just one figure, it would literally cost them like maybe like 50 cents more uh, in order to make it a wholesome figure. But uh, no, it's... Uh... Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not sure why they are... Uh, why they're doing that. Uh, it, it's again the problem which uh, they had seen the first year, uh, this 15, 16 year or so. Let's see how we can insert a stick. So uh, on a positive uh, side, like the stick is pretty, mm, uh, pretty detailed. Uh, so uh, super tech CCM. Uh, so yeah, having uh, a little bit of a little bit of curve uh, curve here. Of course, uh, this tape is uh, unrealistically. Uh, looks uh, unrealistically thick, but uh, uh, this is like uh, the, le uh, the the least minus of this uh, figure. So uh, let's try to make the yeah. The problem is this stick is not like going into these other. Oh, like, uh, oh, what's interesting, like this, this part of the hand is moving, okay. I wonder if this is moving, and this one is moving as well, yeah, so he can. So wrists are moving, uh, but uh, the hands themselves are not moving. That's pretty interesting, so you can, like, make him, like, celebrate, or, like, uh, I see, I see. Oh, uh, that's interesting, I actually don't remember, like, it uh, must be a new feature, because in... Uh, at least in 17, 18 season, like the wrists were not moving, so that's uh, that's a plus. But like these glued hands, yeah, like uh, and in general, the level of uh, the detailization is uh, uh, is rather low. So uh, there are no crumbles, uh, nothing like it's just. Uh, yeah, and also the problem is that. Uh, this uh, stick is not going into the into the hand like uh, okay so uh, supposed to be uh, supposed to look uh, uh, something like this so he is shooting uh, shooting the pack uh, uh, the foundation is supposed to look like ice yeah. Oh, it looks like uh, something like a pre-K student painted with a uh, uh, blue pen. Now this, like, this came out. So I'm surprised that this came out because... Yeah, the problem, it's not uh, very well designed uh, because uh, you see the, uh, the skate is at the angle. So this is like kinda, uh, this... Um, uh, this foundation penis is kind of uh, sticking, uh, sticking out a little bit. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, given that the price of uh, of uh, these figures, uh, I think MSRP is $19.99, but uh, uh, I got them uh, uh, from Target uh, for $9.99. My impression is that in the US, like almost all stores which are selling them are selling from uh, them from uh, for nine ninety nine uh, US uh, USD. So, uh, of course, you you c cannot expect much for uh, nine dollars. But uh, this is like absolutely like the lowest, uh, absolutely the low uh, the lowest level of the figures you can get. Of course, they are not comparable for this interbay figures, uh, which. Uh, they do for NBA, which costs like 150 bucks. But even if you compare to McFarlane figures, which I think uh, for which uh, the recommended retail price was something like 14.99, even there you could recognize uh, the faces a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, the 
Uh, also, the the problem is that uh, the visor is also not glued like very, uh, very well. Like it's kind of moving, as you can see. Uh, we are, which is a little bit weird. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, and the face, like I, I literally, I was trying to guess who, uh, who's like this face, is, uh, unshaven like face is, reminding me like with, uh, uh, like. Uh, this imperfection under the eye and it's really uh, reminding me like this homeless drag dick Todd who lives next to the entrance of my building and like disturbs me like uh, going in and out uh, like the same unshaving uh, like uh, uh, the same unshaven face like somebody hid uh, him under his uh, his eye so he has like uh, imperfection like but uh, uh, does it look like uh, Connor McDavid? Uh, no, he doesn't. Like, uh, and in general, like uh, this, this nose is like way too sharp. Like, uh, um, okay. So, and and like the problem with this, like uh, uh, th this one skate is always coming out. Like, uh, I don't cannot make like a proper foundation. Okay, mm, the first impression uh, is uh, not very good, but uh, uh, let's see the second figure. And uh, the second uh, figure is uh, actually a vint uh, from the Vintage Hockey Series. So that's uh, the series which uh, uh, the producer of, uh, this, uh, of uh, this figure's Imports Dragon started in 1718, I think, uh, the third season. Uh, the, the second season uh, with uh, including Gretzky and Roy, uh, Roy figures into uh, the set and this year uh, the vintage figure is uh, a Matsundin uh, uh, and in Quebec Nordic's uh, uniform. So uh, that's a little bit of a weird choice because uh, given the low quality of uh, these figures uh, and a doubt wouldn't buy like these figures, it's, uh, it's very clear. Uh, but at the same time, if you consider buying it for your child, uh, uh, children don't know who like Matsundin was. Even I like, uh, um, I barely like uh, remember like Matsundin like. And, uh, and so children for sure like uh, don't remember him. And uh, what's particularly weird is uh, that uh, they put him in, like, in Quebec Nordics, a uniform because uh, Mats Sundin is primarily known as uh, the captain of Maple Leafs. That's, uh, uh, that's really, uh, really surprising. And at least if he would be, like, uh, in uh, this Maple Leafs uh, captain uh, jersey, somebody m might have picked him up just uh, as... Uh, uh, maple leaves, uh, uh, maple leaves uh, alarm, but uh, here it's uh, a little bit surprising. I guess the reason could be that uh, this imports dragon, like based on the name, uh, on having the dragon in the name and the low quality of the figures, which are like literally worse than like you would expect, like from some like uh, a low, low quality copy that like you order from AliExpress that it's a Chinese company. No, it's a Canadian company. It's in uh, suburbs of uh, Montreal. Uh, so perhaps uh, they decided to uh, promote their uh, Quebec proudness and put like in a uh, Quebec Nordics uniform. But uh, uh, let's see. So uh, again, the same three components, the stick, uh, the figure, and uh, the foundation. Uh, so uh, now they have some sticker at the back of the... Yeah, I don't know what is this, like some paper sticker at the uh, back of the foundation. I'm not sure what is the function it's supposed to serve. And uh, again, we have to remove the... Uh, condoms before the penetration. Like, look on this quality. Like, literally, look on <laughs> on this quality. I was removing like uh, these protections and like uh, this uh, 
this whole like uh, stick which is supposed to go uh, to this uh, um, uh, to this hole in the foundation, like God removed, like I don't know, can they be like a lower quality product than this? Are, are you literally uh, like uh, kidding me? Like uh, now, I need to somehow like insert like this. Uh, okay, I need to somehow insert it back so it. Uh, oh my. So, like, I can install it to the foundation. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I uh, managed to uh, install it, not without troubles, of course, uh, but... Uh, and um, uh, the problem is that, that uh, uh, stick is, uh, lacks any detail. So, for McDavid, the only positive uh, side of the figure was uh, that uh, the stick had uh, a lot of... Uh, are details here the stick doesn't have any details you might think that in 90s there was no details on the stick no like uh, uh, there were like uh, uh, or at least there were names like uh, uh, on the sticks like Coho or like uh, CCM uh, or the names of the producers for sure there were names of the producers I think like what happened they uh, just didn't have I uh, couldn't find which uh, stick like uh, Sundin was using to play, so just I decided to also save on the paint and do it like completely, uh, completely blank. Another problem is uh, uh, that uh, uh, they have uh, this uh, 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 Quebec Nordics uh, logos uh, uh, at the helmet, but I think. Uh, uh, by the time, uh, by the uh, during the time that like, Sundin was playing for uh, Quebec Nordics, uh, uh, there was uh, no um, no logos on the helmets. They came, I think, they came in something 96, 97 season when he was already in uh, Maple Leafs. Uh, so uh, pretty, uh, pretty weird, I should say. But but who like cares about realism? Like just. Uh, just like uh, they probably think just to do something and uh, then go and uh, uh, go drink. I'm not sure like uh, what are they drinking it. Goodness gracious, goodness gracious. Uh, yes, yeah, so what I wanted to do, I wanted to attach the, uh, the stick, but... Uh, when I was a child, there was like this porno which I uh, like to watch. Like it, it was called Edward Penis Hands. So like in that movie, Edward had like hands like this. So yeah, perhaps like instead of producing NHL figures, uh, uh, this uh, Imports Dragon could try to produce uh, uh, some porno figures. Or so so how it is supposed to be, perhaps like this. Okay, so we go from here. Yeah, it's really such a pain to okay, let me take the this away so I can insert the stick. Yeah, the stick is not really going in. I don't know how it is supposed to. For sure it's not like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got it. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't understand how, like, something can be so bad. <laughs> like, it's, it's literally the worst, like, uh, <laughs> the worst, like, a <laughs> product, like, in any category ever. Okay. Okay, something. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, again, like, uh, he doesn't look, uh, like, first, he looks like uh, somebody, like, uh, 50 year old or so, like, 
then look on how sharp the nose is like uh, it's like a, like a, some kind of like pinocchio like a young pinocchio nose or some, uh, something like that like uh, for those uh, I, I guess most of my viewers probably like uh, don't know how like Matsundin looks like because uh, according to analytics like uh, the a main uh, viewership category is 9 to 14 uh, years old, uh, but yeah, like uh, that's I can tell you that's not how like uh, uh, what uh, Dean looks like. <laughs> Honestly, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like what is? Mm, yeah, like it's uh, this like the worst, <laughs> the worst like a uh, product ever. I wonder if the like oh the head is also moving. Yeah, like it's moving pretty. Okay. Yeah, like uh, but otherwise, uh, the, uh, like the same uh, pro problems. Uh, as in McDavid figures, so uh, these hands are glued to the body to make like the production slightly cheaper. Although it's not, uh, although they are not uh, moving uh, uh, face completely unrecognizable. It's good that they don't have any like uh, weird marks on the face like McDavid. Uh, McDavid had, uh, but uh, uh, the quality uh, or the overall quality is much. Mm, is uh, like uh, seems to be much a uh, lower uh, like uh, because uh, yeah the hand came out like the visor was coming out and look on this like biceps it's like uh, what kind of, I know that uh, this like early 90s it was like a steroid era but like this like uh, really like a Hulk biceps or so like like uh, yeah one biceps is like this another one is like this like uh, yeah like a uh, very comparable Okay, yeah, so, uh, yeah, this Sundina figure, uh, this was uh, something, uh, uh, something probably the worst quality I have ever, I have ever uh, experienced it. And uh, so uh, we come to our last figure, uh, which is also as McDavid limited edition, although this year they don't seem to be uh, numbered, and uh, that's uh, a Vizina, a winner uh, Connor Hellebuck. So, uh, uh, disappointingly, uh, there are again only three components in uh, this uh, package. So, uh, the figure, the uh, stick, and uh, the foundation. Uh, why disappointingly? Because uh, uh, the last time I I had experiences uh, with these figures in 1718. Uh, goalkeepers actually had a, a net behind them, and also on this foundation, uh, they had a crease painted. Okay, so like probably the net was cut because uh, uh, it's too expensive to do that, but at least you could have painted like the crease, like here or something like that, instead of just this regular foundation. So, a very, a very, very uh, disappointing. So let me remove the condoms and uh, let me install the foundation. And uh, where is uh, yeah, the problem is again the stick doesn't uh, is not as detailized as like McDavid's stick. Uh, I'm not sure like what's going on. Like they don't, they only have like license for CCM. But I think like Hellebuck is also playing with the CCM stick, so there should be more uh, detailization. So uh, the stick is uh, is uh, pretty flexible and uh, yes. Yeah, so let me. Let me penetrate the stick into the... I don't understand why this is... Ooh, so difficult to... Okay. Yeah, it's really difficult to... to get this 
stick going. Yes, so yes, so the the glove hand seems to be uh, to be uh, moving, of course, like a very realistic glove hand position, but uh, but what not. Uh, so, uh, to my understanding, uh, this is the first time a Hellebuck is included into uh, into this uh, series uh, because uh, every year, uh, th so there are actually three kind of players they include into this six inch series. They also have a three inch series and twelve inch series. I think twelve inch series uh, was uh, completely. Uh, abandoned because the figures were so scary that you, the only way they could be useful is that, that uh, you could scare your children. Uh, but a uh, three-inch figures has, and the six-inch figures are still coming out. So three-inch figures are complete garbage. Uh, they don't have any uh, detailization at all. It's just always the same, uh, the same face, like just like the uniform is painted differently. And that's like uh, ridiculous to the extent I think like in uh, uh, seventeen eighteen season, like they had like PK seven and three-inch series, and like uh, he was like white. <laughs> What the hell? Like, uh, and then they removed it, like that figure from the web uh, website, and then next year they did a proper PK seven, like in black. But uh, yeah, the, I was laughing out so loud, uh, so loud to them. But uh, okay, uh, yeah. So there are three types of figures uh, uh, which I included. So like McDavid, Crosby, and Matthews are uh, every year. And uh, then there's uh, some figures uh, like uh, Ovechkin, Tavares, uh, which are every other year. And then every year they have a couple of uh, uh, figures which make like a random appearance. So this year I think it's Hellebuck and Kachak. Like Hellebuck probably made it uh, uh, because of uh, his Vizina. Although I think it's, uh, I don't think he should have uh, won, won uh, the Vizina because like, for sure Vasilevsky was a better goalie. But I think... This comedy, they prefer players from Canadian team, uh, Canadian teams, because how can you give like a Drysaito MVP if there's you have player like McKinnon, like uh, yeah. But uh, but a positive side of this figure is that although they removed like uh, uh, the go the goal itself from the back and didn't paint the crease, that there's slightly more detailization. There is more like crumbles, uh, uh, crumbles here make it more. Are realistic. There is also some detailization of the helmet. Uh, mm, uh, the back is completely empty, but like on front there is this uh, uh, this uh, snowfall uh, snowflake uh, jet is at the top. So uh, this is uh, pretty. Yeah, mm, pretty good. Again, uh, there are no uh, uh, manufacturer logos on uh, any of the ammunition, no on pads, no on stick. So apparently they ha only have it for some figures. But uh, 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 of course, a, a big positive side of this is that uh, uh, in... Uh, I wonder if you can take away the mask. No, no, the face is like moving. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this neck is, by the way, is really long. It's like a giraffe neck. Like, uh, I, I wonder, like, if Hellebuck like has like this giraffe, uh, giraffe type neck in real life. Yeah, but the positive side uh, side of uh, being a goalie is that you can't see these unrealistic faces by. Uh, by imports dragon uh, yeah I, actually i don't know how like how a canadian company can like do a garbage like this like it's beyond my beyond my understanding so there is there is some detailization so you can see that there is actually a hair behind the so uh, they didn't like uh, just put a a bare skull there so yeah Okay, but uh, of course, uh, my advice uh, is uh, to avoid uh, uh, these uh, figures uh, at uh, all costs. Like even if you are offered uh, them uh, for free, like it's so like the the only like uh, uh, the only good use uh, like you can uh, make uh, of them is like for instance, if your children don't want to go to sleep, you can. Um, use like uh, this face to scare them so that's the only 
a positive side but uh, uh, of course they shall not, uh, just the level of the customization is not uh, enough for them to be called uh, um, a code a collectible figure it's just like a, a toy and a very low quality toy I, I don't understand why is it uh, so difficult uh, to make at least this like McFarlane quality uh, McFarlane quality figures uh, so uh, and like surprisingly McFarlane they used to have like NBA season but after uh, an NBA like license but after 18 19 seasons they also lost the NBA license and they are only doing like uh, a mo mo some like movie figures and uh, which is a little bit weird uh, we were uh, weird for me like uh, Mm, yeah, so what we can see, yeah, so I didn't notice it, but like this, uh, uh, the strap of uh, the of the helmet also came out. Oh my God, like how? Yeah. What a hell. What a hell. Yeah, so uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is like, honestly, like... Uh, uh, the lowest quality like product like in any category I've experienced it like uh, uh, for a while and uh, <laughs> yeah like just I, I'm not sure uh, like um, the quality really got uh, uh, got worse over the years because uh, uh, this uh, 16, 17 season, 18, 19 season yeah like the figures were completely unrecognizable but at least uh, like the quality was somewhat like uh, uh, things like didn't come out uh, immediately 